What are your personal thoughts on this image? Right, my personal thoughts. Honestly, I agree with what Kanye says in the tweet. I think America should look after their citizens, and uh, especially when they're free from prison. Because I don't think they do a very good job of that. But the 13th Amendment bit, I don't know if I agree with that entirely. The 13th Amendment was uh, to free slaves. And he said to abolish 13th Amendment, but there was a part in that where they accept from prisoners getting free, they were allowed to be in slavery, which I don't agree with. So I don't know if he was on about that part, but that was unclear. Um, but he did uh, attach the MAGA hat, which I felt unnecessary. Nothing really linked to Trump or anything at all, but he wears that a lot. And it feels uh, very scripted, like he he planned out every word that he said in that, in that tweet, which can come off a bit not genuine. What do you think Kanye's audience thinks about this tweet? Before you show me this, I haven't heard of this tweet before, this exact one, so I don't really know what his audience thinks of it. However, what I believe is half of his audience, mainly the American half, might feel uh, empowered or inspired by this. Whereas the other half, like me, just really want to hear his music and not care much about politics. It's not really one to hear when your form of escape is in the media and then politics comes. What are your personal thoughts on the song Reborn? So this song, uh, Reborn, I think it's a very good song in my opinion. But, uh, it's about a person, or the person, uh, moving on from something in their life, getting renewed or reborn as the song title suggests. And uh, in the first verse, Kanye West opens up about his previous mental health. It might not necessarily be about him, it might just be words to help a, a listener, audience member. But uh, I believe it's to do with Kanye. It sounds like it might be to do with him anyway. And uh, Kid Cudi, as a set, as a, in the second verse, has a similar, similar thing going on, talking about mental health. And uh, I think it's very important that they talk about it and it opens it up to a lot more people. And uh, I think Kanye West is well aware of the percentage of people that have mental health problems in this world. So he, I think he's written this song mainly to help them instead of... It's not about him trying to explain what's happened to him in the past or what's he doing now. I think it's more to help an audience member that's going through it. What are your personal thoughts on the song, Wouldn't Leave, by Kanye West? Yeah, now, the, now this song sounds more like a, a non-typical love story, where it sounds like Kanye is reminiscing on uh, arguments in the past with his, with his partner, but then I can't help but think during the song that it's about his relationship with the public and his audience. And he knows that the, he would never lose everyone of his audience. People would always be by him. And uh, then towards the end, he brings it back to a sort of love story and directly addresses the audience member themselves. Uh, males and females. In a, which might be in a relationship and tries to sounds like he's, he's trying to support them through their relationship. It's in a... No relationship perfect, whatever. Do you think Kanye West does a good job of promoting mental health and bullying in his music? I think he does do a good job of raising uh, mental health issues in the eyes of the public. Where he doesn't just do it in a way most people do it. They're like, oh, 80% of people go through this. And just throw statistics out there. Whereas he does it in a way that uh, I've been through this. I'm going through this. He provides a way people can listen to it and that are going through that and actually help them instead of just making them feel the same or worse. What do you think of Kanye as a person and his music? Kanye as a person, he's most of the time all over the place in, in news and everything, but most of it I reckon's harmless. 
stunts, some of them, other ones mistakes, he's a man of his word, so when he does something wrong he'll stick by it, but as a person I, I think he's trying to do good, he wants to help people, he's trying to get involved in politics to help people that way as well as writing music meant for help, helping people mentally, he's his tweets, he's always trying to spread love and positivity, but his music is it's great no matter what. If you're not going through mental health issues, it's fine. You know what other people are. But when you listen to these songs, it, it's even if you're not, it doesn't hit you directly, it, it's still good music. You can still move to it. But if you are going through anything, then it will touch you. It, and make you feel good. Yeah.